Hey, what's going on guys? It's Andrew Smirsik with Combat Hour Training. In today's video, we're going to be talking about managing capacity for your concealed carry pistol. So if you're out there trying to decide what pistol you want, one of the biggest factors you're going to be thinking about is magazine capacity. Now, you're going to get a lot of advice from different people. Uh, some people are going to say that you don't need so many rounds. They're going to say things like, well, I only need one round. Or, if I need more than five rounds, then I'm in a bad situation. Well... If you need to draw a pistol to defend your life or the lives of those you love or innocent bystanders around you, you're in a bad situation. And you're also in an ambush. You didn't pick that situation. You didn't get go out there trying to find the bad guy. You happened to come into it. So would you rather have fewer rounds or more rounds? Now, I can guarantee you're saying right now, I'd rather have more rounds. That makes sense, right? Um, what doesn't make sense is using liberal logic. <laughs> you don't need so many rounds to defend your life. Where have we heard that before? Now, we know there's no such thing as liberal logic, and we especially don't follow liberal logic when we're picking guns to defend ourselves with or protect innocent life with. Uh, <clears throat> also, in addition to that, most of the guys who are going to say, well, I only need five rounds or I only need one round, they probably don't even carry a fucking gun to begin with. Uh, go to the gun stores. And when, when they say that, ask them what they carry. <laughs> from my experience, they don't carry anything anyways. So why are you going to take advice, take advice from them? Now, one, one of the things that um, I love to share with people when they are trying to figure out uh, how many rounds they need for their concealed carry pistol is uh, some statistics taken from the book On Combat by Dave Grossman. Now, if you haven't read it, you haven't heard of it, I highly suggest you do. You can download on Audible, Kindle, or uh, buy a hard copy of it. But uh, the, statistics, the statistic we're gonna talk about from there is that law enforcement, on average, before they've done lots of force on force training, they're consistently winning scenarios with paint marking rounds, they're gonna miss 80% of the rounds they fire. So only 20% of the rounds they fire, if they're lucky, are actually gonna hit the threat. So, Law enforcement don't always get the best train, right? But they are taught how to shoot. They do have to qualify every year at whatever standard the department has for them. And they've been put through different scenarios. So if you have that level of training, which most civilians don't, then you're going to miss 80% of the rounds you fire. And if you're lucky, only 20% will hit. So 20% of five rounds, that's only one round. So can you guarantee that you'll incapacitate the threat with one round? Think about if the dude is my size, right? I'm like 200 pounds, um, you know, lift weights, you know, been in the military and stuff, fairly active. Are you going to stop me with one round from your little pistol? I don't think so. And consider the fact, too, that there's been plenty of dudes that have fought through, uh, taken tons and tons of rounds. Look up. Uh, Sergeant Major Castle, or even like look at all all the all the warriors that have lost their legs over in Afghanistan and Iraq and continue to fight after it. Now, your little pistol is not as powerful as an IED. I can promise you that. But let's just say you hit me with that one round, right? Now you have to reload, because now more than half the time that you have to draw your pistol, you're also going to be facing more than one threat. So you can just on me. And my messed up, roid raging cousin who just saw you shoot me. Are you saw both of us when we're attacking you? I don't think so. So, more rounds is always better, guys. Uh, the way I look at it, it's kind of like a game of risk. If you could roll with five die or you could roll with 15, I'd rather roll a 15. Um, and I think you would all say the same. So... <clears throat> Don't buy into that uh, that nonsense of you only need five rounds, right? If you're willing to carry more, carry more. If you're not going to, that's fine. But I'd rather you carry something than nothing. All right, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share, and subscribe. And also, after you don't watch this, please go watch videos of people defending themselves uh, with their concealed carry pistol. And try to find the ones who fire five or six rounds from a revolver or a subcompact pistol and they don't run out of ammo. All 